This Ultradyne Orbit ball head, this Ultradyne UD7 chassis, and this Ultradyne Arca rail all have one thing in common. It's called Dynalock. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how it works. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. First off, you're gonna to wanna to check out my complete video on the UD Carbon tripod and orbit ball head from Ultradyne. You're gonna also wanna check out my six arc rifle build. This is the new Ultradyne UD7 chassis. It's got seven slots on the side. There's also a UD5 with five slots on the side and a UD3 with three slots on the side. So you have three different forearm lengths to choose from. Bunch of cool stuff. We even did full custom Cerakote as you can see here. Those videos are awesome. But what I wanted to do was do a separate video, this video, to talk about what is Dynalock. Dynalock is an Arca rail locking mechanism that consists of a series of holes on the Arca rail and a couple peg bosses that click up. Now, this will work, as I'll show in a moment, with non Dynalock Arca rails as well. If Dynalock is there, these two little bosses, these little pin type features, click up and prevent the rifle from moving fore and aft once it's locked in. It's an extra measure of protection to make sure that your rifle stays where it should be. So if we put this in the down position and we get just a little bit of tension here, we can push up, lock it in place, lock the clamp. Now it's completely secure. And even under heavy recoil, things are not gonna move. Loosen, pull the clamp. Could do the same with our UD7. We're just gonna tilt the rifle in place and then get, give it a little bit of clamping pressure here. And as we slide the rifle fore and aft, we'll feel that click into place just like so. What's cool about this Orbit ball head is we've got this thumb tensioning lever here. Do a final tighten on the clamp and we're good to go. Now we can use the, the thumb tension lever to lock the rifle into place, it's gonna stay exactly where we need it to be. This particular clamp is a combo Picatinny and Arca clamp. And again, if you watch the full video, you're gonna see the complete demo. But what we also need to demonstrate here is that when we're not using Dynalock, we can also grab a standard Arca rail. Here's just an M-lock Arca rail here. And this is gonna function just like any other Arca clamp. It's gonna work just as well. And if we happen to have those Dynalock bosses in the up position, it's just gonna push them right out of the way and respond just how you would expect it to with a non-Dynalock system. So we'll be a little bit more susceptible to movement here compared to a system like this UD7 or this Arca rail. Both of these are available from Ultradyne. Uh, so it is something that works when Dynalock is there and it also functions without the Dynalock uh, securing feature with a conventional rail as well. So if you want to know more about Dynalock, you can head over to the Ultradyne website or check out our UD7 build. Check out the Orbit ball head and UD carbon video. We did some really fun shooting with that. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment. I'll do my best to answer. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.